The benefits of this uh, OS01 peptide or the small molecule is that it could be used for someone who is very sensitive to the effects of calorie restriction or exercise even. So for example, I had a discussion with Dr. Matt Caberlain, who is um, a proficient and eminent and very known in the longevity space, especially longevity nutrition and the calorie restriction studies. And he told me that when female rats are put into prolonged calorie restricted diet, they actually lose all their reproductive activity. We also know many people who, you know, go too far with their calorie restriction or exercise, especially young women, mm -hmm. and they start getting low hormones and, you know, no ovulation anymore, menstrual cycle messed up. So maybe this could be something that could support those benefits without bringing your body or taking your body into that overdrive. Yeah, Does absolutely. Yeah, no, it's certainly, you know, um, caloric restriction is one of those longevity pathways because it sort of conserves energy. Uh, and, uh, and and sometimes if you don't have enough nutrition, that can be a hard thing to do. Uh, but but imagine this is having, you know, really optimal nutrition, but still stimulating the metabolic pathways to have the best of metabolic function while also, you know, reducing inflammation by improving your muscle mass. Um, so, so it has uh, basically a really unique mechanism that helps and uh, inhibits the things we also want. Um, and so I think it can get around some of those restrictions. I mean, ultimately, I think, uh, you know, the amount of mTOR inhibition does sort of relate to cal caloric intake, but uh, but there are ways to, to maybe uh, uh, help uh, affect that that spectrum uh, with uh, dietary supplements or, or small molecules like this. And I think that the OSO1 is a really good example of that.